Okay, Sergio Garcia, these are your two truths and a lie. I mean, they're both great balls, don't get me wrong, but it's very important for me to be able to hit my window uh, that, I, that, I, that, I've, that I feel comfortable with uh, and, and that it helps me be more confident and, and trying to hit more the, the shot that I want to that, that hit. Worthy of Sergio oh, Garcia, yeah. skip, oh, up yeah. skip up the hill, skip up the hill. Give me the jump, Whoa. give me the... Hi, this is Sergio Garcia and this is Two Truths and a Lie. Okay, Sergio Garcia, these are your two truths and a lie. I'm going to read you three statements with some st 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 statistics in them. <laughs> and you need to tell me which ones are true and which ones are a lie. You want to do that again? No, no, I'm happy. Let's keep rolling. Let's keep rolling right. until they stop us. Are Perfect. you ready All right. for these statistics? I, I hope so. <laughs> in 2021, you ranked third on tour in Eagle Rate. You don't have to tell me if that's true or lie. You can think and hear them all first. Your longest hole out shot in your whole career from the right rough is from 203 yards. Final one, in 2021, you were the second most aggressive player on tour in going for the green in two on a par five. One is a lie, two of them are true. Which ones do you like, big guy? All right, I like, uh, I like the last one, going for the green in two. Yep. Um, was that a game plan of yours? I want to be more aggressive. I want to start going for more greens in two. No, I think uh, it was just just the way I felt. You know, obviously I uh, was hitting the ball well, so gave myself more chances to go for the green. And because of that, in the 2020 to 2021 season that I just finished, I did make a lot of eagles. The eagle one you're, you're happy with, and then in 2021, you ranked third on tour in eagle rate, which would tie in if, if you're saying that two on a par five, and you went for that and you were the second most aggressive, you like both of those stats, which would indicate to me that you're thinking that the longest hole out of your career from the right rough is 203 yards. It uh, make me think that you think <clears throat> that could be a lie. I, uh, yeah, I think hole outs, from the rough, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure that I've uh, that I've made it from that from that part on par three and stuff like that. And from the fairway, I have made a long uh, a couple long ones, but uh, but I can I can recall uh, from from the rough. So. Is that your final answer? Uh, do you want to phone yes, a friend? Do you well, want to phone a friend? <laughs> do I get a 50-50? <laughs> yeah, you are no. you are right. The hole out, your longest ever hole out from 203 from the right rough. I added that one in it. So Okay. But, so I like the way you work that out though, very Thank good. You. You. But it brings us to this being your lie, which to start you off is absolutely perfect. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a gem. You've got 212, playing 219. I'm gonna let you take over the description because you do a much better job than me, but what are you thinking? Yes, uh, this is about a four iron for me. Uh, obviously a morning, so it's not super warm. Uh, it looks like the wind is kind of left to right. Uh, maybe a touch of help, but not not much. Um, pin is kind of like middle is right, so you know I'm just going to try to hit a four iron, uh, fairly straight. Wind might drift it a little right. Hopefully, uh, hopefully hit a good one. The hole kind of invites a fade, right? Looking at it with that flag. Position. Yes, yes, you could. I mean, the the good thing is that the the flag is not way right. That that definitely would ask you for more of a fade but you could yeah I mean I could hit like a straight straight shot just left of it and kind of let it drift with the wind or I could start it maybe middle left side of the green and kind of cut a little bit with the wind. Now one of the things with you I've seen you hit golf shots all over the world the sound in person is amazing especially with a long iron and this golf ball you're playing the TP5X with the long irons you have different windows with the spin between the X and the 5. Did that come into any decisions when you chose the X? Is there a reason you think that it works so well with long irons for you? Does the ball ever come into that decision when it comes to a long iron? Yeah, it definitely does. It's very important. I mean, they're both great balls, don't get me wrong, but it's very important for me to be able to hit my window uh, that, I, that, I, that, I've, that I feel comfortable with uh, and, and that it helps me be more confident and, and trying to hit more the, the shot that I want to that, that hit. Obviously, 
Uh, if you're able to do that, then you can control the spin, you can control the distance, which is very important. And, um, you know, that's, those are some of the decisions that you, you go through. Some of your best wins, when I think back of your career and where you've won, you've come on some really tough days. I know when you won the players, the wind was howling, right? Mm -hmm. And you've talked about controlling the ball. Over the years, the dimple patterns have been developed. How about from when you started your career to now, controlling the ball in the wind? Has it changed much? Um, I mean, not, not a, I mean, yes. Uh, obviously, as, as the ball has evolved, uh, it definitely the ball doesn't move as much uh, on the wind as it used to, uh, with less spin and, and the balls being a bit firmer and stuff. They definitely fly through the wind better. Uh, I mean, I think, I've always said it, I think the Tomate ball is the best wind ball there is out there, uh, without a doubt. So that, even when it's quite windy, it, it brings you back to, like, if you hit it properly, the ball that does not move a lot. Yeah. Uh, so it's so it's great. So it gives you a little bit of extra confidence that, you know, if you have a 10 mile an hour wind uh, from left to right, you don't have to start it 15 yards left of the green to, to get it back on the green. Yeah. You know, if you hit it properly, the ball is not going to move that much. So you can have a little bit more control on it. OK. Well, that, that's, I think it's time for you to treat me to Yes. Me. All right. Show me what you got, big guy. Let's see. Did you match the grip to the outfit today? Not bad, huh? It looks smart. It's, it's a little, you always look smart. <laughs> it's, it's a little lighter, but... Uh, I, I'm, I'm giving it you. <laughs> Thank you. I'll take it. Oh, baby. This is so good. Go in. It's Ooh. just so good. <laughs> it's always so good. I don't know how to put into words how great you flight long irons. It is unbelievable. That, that was too easy. I think for the next one, I'm seeing a cheeky bit of pine straw over there. I want to get you in that and then you can talk to us about that. Perfect.